गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक आई श्री मलिनी सरकार एज यू ऑल नो विल बी टेकिंग योर सोशल साइंस ट्यूटोरियल क्लासेस हैप्पी टू सी यू ऑल आफ्टर द लॉन्ग हॉलीडे एंड आई होप यू हैव हैड अ फ्रूटफुल एंड एन एंजॉयबल समर एट होम विथ योर पेरेंट्स इज इंट इट आई एम श्योर यू आर ऑल well rested and ready to start with our second innings of online classes let's see what is store for us amazing india part 2 in the previous video in the previous video we have learned about the physical features of india the six physical divisions of india we have learned in our previous class in this video we are going to know about the 28 states and the 8 union territories of india are you all ready to learn let's proceed india is a very big country india is divided into 28 states and 8 union territories Every state and union territories has its own capital. We are going to learn about the capitals and the culture, language, animals, everything in this video. The capital of India is New Delhi. The tradition, culture, art, language and food vary from state to state and are unique to each region. so as we all move from one state to another we are going to see that each state differs in their tradition culture art language and food the following is a glimpse into all the 28 states of india and their capitals first of all we are going to learn about the capitals and students you are going to mug up the state and their capitals andhra pradesh capital is hyderabad arunachal pradesh itanagar assam dispur bihar patna chatisgarh raipur goa panaji gujarat gandhinagar haryana chandigarh himachal pradesh shimla jharkhand Rachi, Karnataka, Bengaluru, Kerala, Tiruvannantapuram, Madhya Pradesh, Bhopal, Maharashtra, Mumbai, Manipur, Imphal, Meghalaya, Shillong, Mizoram, Aizawl, Nagaland, Kohima, Orissa, Bhuvaneshwar, Punjab, Chandigarh, Rajasthan, Jaipur, Sikkim, Gangtok. तमिलनाडु चेन्नई तेलंगाना हैदराबाद त्रिपुरा अगरतला उत्तर प्रदेश लखनऊ उत्तराखंड देहरादून एंड लास्ट वन इज वेस्ट बंगाल कोलकाता नाउ लेट्स गो थ्रू द यूनियन टेरिटरीज एंड देयर कैपिटल अंडमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड्स पोर्ट ब्लेयर लक्षद्वीप कवरत्ति जम्मू एंड कश्मीर दिस इज द रिसेंट Union Territory, though Jammu and Kashmir was a state before, but recently it has been an Union Territory. Jammu and Kashmir is having two capitals. Summer it is Srinagar, and in winter it is Jammu. Puducherry, the capital is Puducherry. Daman and Diu, the capital is Daman. Dadra and Nagar Haveli, Silvasa, Chandigarh, Chandigarh, National Capital Territory, New Delhi. so students you are going to mug up the capitals let us know our states first is andhra pradesh the capital of andhra pradesh is hyderabad see students in this video we have given you the language of each state its area dance the animal that is mostly found in the the state the tree that is mostly found and the flower so 
we will start with Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh is located on the southeastern coast of India. The state is into mining activities and industry in addition to agriculture. Vishakhapatnam, a major port, is situated on the coastline of Bay of Bengal. It is well known for the reverted temple Tirupati, beautiful handloom weaves and the dance Kuchipuri. Next come Arunachal Pradesh. The capital of Arunachal Pradesh is Itanagar. Arunachal Pradesh is the northeastern state of the country having borders with Bhutan in the west and Myanmar in the east. The Makmohan line in the north separates the state from the China. So the Makmohan line is the boundary between China and Arunachal Pradesh. The state is habited by tribes and ethnic groups who speak about 50 languages and dialects. The mountains, lakes, passes, meadows and forests make the state a beautiful one. Assam, the capital is Dispur. Assam is located in the northeast of India, sharing international borders with Bhutan and Bangladesh. Woodlands and grasslands covered the land area. Rice is a major crop for the agriculture-based economy. Assam is the highest producer of tea in the country. Kaziranga National Park and the Manas Wildlife Sanctuary is the abode of rhinoceros, tigers and leopards. Kaziranga National Park is the only park where we will be able to find one-horned rhinoceros. So one horned rhinoceros is found in Kaziranga and that is there in Assam. Bihar The capital of Bihar is Patna. Bihar is a state in East India bordered by Nepal in the north. It was the center of civilization and culture for centuries. Bihar is considered to be a land where Buddha lived and is associated with Buddhism and Jainism. With agriculture being the basis, rice is the predominant crop. Wheat, barley, pulses, jute, sugarcane and vegetables and fruits are also grown here in extensively amount. Chhattisgarh, capital, Raipur. Chhattisgarh, situated in the central India, has a rich cultural heritage. The state has monuments, curved temples, rock paintings, Buddhist temples, tiger reserves and wildlife sanctuaries. Agriculture, mining and energy production is the basis of the economy. Energy production, we should remember that the NTPC is located in Chhattisgarh and NTPC helps in the production of energy. The electric supply is produced in NTPC. The state produces the bulk of tendu leaves for making breeze. Goa Goa is one of the smallest states in India on the west coast of India. Goa is famous for the Portuguese heritage, its beaches and the most delicious Goan food. Rice and coconut are the staple produce. Mining of iron ore, bauxite and manganese have been in prevalence. And the capital of Goa is Panaji. The animal that is mostly found in Goa is gore. Gore is a kind of deer. Gujarat. Gujarat is on India's western coast bounded by Pakistan in the northwest. The salt deserts of Kutch, semi-arid scrublands of Kathiawar, hills of Girnar form a varied Landscape. Mahatma Gandhi built his Shabarmati Ashram here. The state houses architectural marvels and rich culture and heritage. The capital of Gujarat is Gandhinagar. And the animal that is mostly found here is Asiatic lion. And Asiatic lion is mostly found in Gir forest. Haryana, capital Chandigarh. Animal that is mostly found over here is black buck. Again, black buck is a kind of deer. 
Haryana lies in the north of India. The economy of the state centers on agriculture producing large quantities of rice and wheat. Cotton, potatoes and lentils are also grown here. The population holds vibrant and colorful celebrations of festivals and arts. Himachal Pradesh Himachal Pradesh lies in the North India on the foothills of the Himalayas. Livelihood depends on agriculture, horticulture and seasonal herding. The state is abundant with the natural beauty of snow-clad mountains, valleys and streams. The beautiful hill stations of Kulu, Manali, Chamba, Talausi, Dharamshala attract tourists. The capital of Himachal Pradesh is Shimla. Jharkhand, capital Rachi. Jharkhand in eastern India was formerly a part of Bihar. The state has a diverse culture and tribal presence. The mineral reed state has a concentration of heavy industries in Jamshedpur, Dhanbad, Bokaro and Rachi. Agriculture is a mainstay of the state. The state has dense forest, hills, holy places, waterfalls and wildlife parks which are tourist attractions. Karnataka Karnataka is in southwest India lying along the Arabian Sea coastline. The places of Mysore and the medieval architecture of Hampi, the capital of Vijayanagar Empire, makes the state historically rich. The mountains, farmlands and the long coastline with beautiful beaches outline Karnataka's varied landscape. Agriculture, dairy and horticulture earn the major revenue for the state. The capital of Karnataka is Bengaluru. Kerala, one of the most beautiful state in southern India. Kerala is a state on the southernmost tip of India, abundant in scenic beauty. The Arabian Sea shoreline offers beaches and backwaters. The mountains of the Western Ghats houses national wildlife parks and hill stations. In an agriculture-based economy, the cash crops are rubber, coffee and tea. Cardamom, cashew, coconut and pepper fetch high revenues. The capital of Kerala is Thiruvananthapuram. And the animal that is mostly found over here is Asian elephants. Madhya Pradesh, capital Bhopal. Madhya Pradesh is located in the center of India. It is the largest state in India with no coastline or international borders. The topography consists of low hills, plateaus and river valleys. Agriculture is the basis of the economy. Fertile valleys rich in alluvium are cultivated here. Hindu and Jain temples of Khajuraho, national parks and Bengal tiger sanctuaries are the main tourist attractions in the state. Maharashtra, capital is Mumbai. Maharashtra is on the west coast of India and occupies a substantial portion of the Deccan Plateau. This state is India's biggest industrial and commercial manufacturing, finance and administration hub. Mumbai is the most important port in handling foreign trade. Mumbai is a very vibrant city with a multicultural population of diverse religions. Gateway of India and the elephant caves of the British Raj era are now tourist destinations. Manipur. Manipur is in northeastern India. Agriculture and forestry form the basic income source. There are cottage industries in silk production and bamboo crafts. The exotic landscapes, green valleys, hills, lakes and forest are attraction to tourists. The, na the only floating park in the world the Kelbul Lamjau National Park 
is in Manipur. Manipur is having a floating park in which is one in the world that is Kalbul Lamchau National Park. The capital of Manipur is Imphal. Meghalaya Meghalaya in the northeast of India is a hilly state with high rainfall, subtropical forests and biodiversity. Cherapunji, which receives the maximum rainfall in the world, is in Meghalaya. Meghalaya is dependent on agriculture and forestry. Rice, maize, potatoes, pineapple, papaya and bananas are the main constituents of agricultural produce. The capital of Meghalaya is Shillong. Mizoram, capital Aizual. Mizoram is situated in the northeast India, having international borders with Burma and Bangladesh. More than three-fourths of the land area is covered with forests that provide habitats for animal life. Agriculture is the mainstay of the state. The moderate climate, even in summer, makes the high hills and peaceful surrounding excellent tourist destinations. Nagaland Nagaland in the northeast of India is mountainous and shares an international border with Myanmar. The capital city hosts museums and ancient weaponry as memorials to their trials in the Second World War. The main occupation of the popul population is agriculture. Nagaland is mainly inhabited by tribes who speak about 60 dialects. Their colorful costumes, spicy food, beautiful dances and festivals attracts many tourists all year around. The capital of Nagaland is Kohima. The animal that is mostly found here is Himalayan striped squirrel. Orisha Orisha is on the eastern side of India on the Bay of Bengal. Forests cover one third of the land area. Though most of the land is not suitable for cultivation, the predominant occupation is agriculture. The temples of Bhuvaneshwar and Puri, the temple of Konarak and the long stretches of beaches are the major tourist attraction. The capital of Orisha is Bhuvaneshwar. Animal that is mostly found over here is Sambar, again a kind of a deer. Tree that is mostly found here is Banyan tree and flower is Ashoka flower. Punjab Capital, Chandigarh. Language that is spoken over here is Punjabi. Animal, black bug, again a kind of a deer. Punjab, in the west of India, is the heart of the Sikh community. Punjab is known as the land of five rivers, Ravi, Beers, Chenab, Satluj, Jhilam, and this network of rivers irrigates the land. Agriculture is the basis of the economy. Rice and wheat form the major share of the crop. Legumes and pulses, fruits, oil seeds, cotton and vegetables are also grown over here. Rajasthan Rajasthan in northwestern India is the largest state in India. The land has shrub vegetation and has scarce rainfall. Millets, wheat, barley, rice, lentils, cotton and tobacco are grown here. The history of Rajasthan, the palaces, golden sand deserts, handicrafts and cuisine are the major attraction. The most famous third desert is also situated in Rajasthan. The capital of Rajasthan is Jaipur. Sikkim Sikkim in the northeastern part of India is the smallest state of India. Agriculture is the basis of the economy. Vegetables and tree are, tea are grown over here. Sikkim is a major producer of cardamom. India's highest mountain peak, Kanchanjunga, is in Sikkim. Sikkim is known for its scenic beauty of mountain peaks, glaciers, lakes and ancient monasteries. The 
capital is Gantok. Language spoken here is Nepali. Tamil Nadu, capital Chennai. Tamil Nadu is the southern state of India. The town of Kanyakumari at India's southernmost tip is famed for the sunrise of the confluence of three seas. With lots of culture and religious heritage to its credit, Tamil Nadu provides a mixture of the old and the new. Agriculture and fishing is their occupation. It does have a manufacturing sector for automobiles, agricultural equipment, railway coaches, etc. Telangana, capital Hyderabad. Telangana is the newest state in South India comprising of 10 districts of Andhra Pradesh. The Charminar, Golconda Fort and Lald, Lad Bazar Pottery, the history of the place. The rivers Krishna and Godavari provide irrigation to the predominantly agriculture-based economy. The industrial sector manufacturing electrical equipment and machine tools. Medicines have recently boosted the economy. Especially the medicine companies has recently come up in this state which is giving a good revenue to the state Telangana. Tripura Tripura, situated in the northwest India, is a landlocked state at the foothills of the Himalayas. Landlocked means in all the sides, it is bounded by states. It is there in the middle. It is bordered by Bangladesh on three sides. Half the land area is covered by forest and is inhabited by animals and visited by migratory birds. Rice is the major crop grown throughout the state. History, tradition, mountains and forest beckon visits to the state. The capital of Tripura is Agartala. Uttar Pradesh Uttar Pradesh in North India is the most populous state in the country. Apart from the forests in the southern region, the terrain has mostly shrub vegetation. Agriculture is the mainstay with rice, wheat and sugarcane being the major crops. The Taj Mahal, one of the wonders of the world, is at Agra. The cities of Varanasi and Prayag, sacred to Hindus, are in Uttar Pradesh. The capital of Uttar Pradesh is Lucknow. Uttarakhand, capital Dehradun. Uttarakhand is a state in northern India nestled in the lap of Himalayas. The state has international borders with Tibet and Nepal. The population depends on agriculture for their livelihood. The popular tourist destinations, hill stations at Mussoorie, Nanital, Dehradun and pilgrimage center at Rishikesh, Haridwar, Kedarnath, Badrinath are all located in this picturesque state. The world famous Kumbh Mela is held at Haridwar after every 12 years. Last but not the least, West Bengal. West Bengal lies to the east of India between the Himalayas and the Bay of Bengal. The topography includes forests and mangroves of the Sundarbans. Agriculture based economy produces a significant quantity of rice along with jute, sugarcane and oil seeds. The capital of West Bengal is Kolkata. Language spoken here is mostly Bengali. And the dance form, the famous dance form of West Bengal is Chow Dance. Thank you students. I hope this video will help you out to know your states better. I hope you will enjoy while you go through the video to know the states of India. Thank you students. Stay at home. Be safe. Thank you.